Well, I'm officially back in Seattle. We are doing a movie shoot out here for a film called Polito. I had uh, I came straight from the airport and I'm going to the movie set because I have to like check in, get my badge and all that good stuff. It's down by the water, it's about a 10, 15 minute walk. Let's check it out. Beautiful morning. Not a cloud in sight, it's gonna be in the 80s. Let's get it. We are now on set this is the base camp back here just uh, on the waterfront of seattle pretty much we're just hanging out uh waiting for talent to get here coordinating COVID checks catering is all set up for breakfast i'm just out here making sure that all of the uh, staff get to the right locations and that we have our shuttles running uh to set and it's gonna be a great day here we have one of the most important rooms on set or trailers on set this is the crafty trailer where all the snacks live it's a happy place it really is Got our mandatory snack break. <laughs> Always gotta keep it loaded. Swapping out the old for the new. I know it might be like a little petty, but I just had a um, one of my old uh, event companies that I worked with, or still kind of work with, they disabled my email just because I haven't really done any work with them for at least five, six months now. I know it's not like a deal breaker or anything, but it just kind of sucks. It's like, dang, like, you got, you, you, you took me off the list. You know, I don't know if they were like doing a spring clean or something. I haven't worked with them in, in a little while and I'm hoping to get back with them when I have time, but it's just like, dang, like you, you cleared me out of the system, man, that sucks. Today I got my tactical vest on. This is what I usually wear when I'm doing um, any kind of like production work for movies uh, or any kind of like television production work. Cause I don't really need it. I feel like when I'm doing festivals or any like tour management type thing, but when I'm doing production for television, there's just something about the amount I'm running around and the amount of things I usually keep on me at all times that I don't want to have it in my pockets or like strapped to my, my waistband and my, my pants or shorts. So this is nice because I keep the walkie here, keeps it uh, nice and tied in. And then I have a spot for my phone, whatever else I need, and then some like auxiliary pockets. It's just a lot more comfortable. I feel a lot more badass with it. We are uh, just chilling. It's been a hectic morning, trying to get everybody to set, trying to get everybody situated. We had an issue with printing off the wrong updated slides and that really pissed off the, uh, the director. Man's over here looking like he just got shot up, broken arm, bloody, bloody body, real shit. I'm so, so tired, man. I feel like it's finally all starting to catch up to me. Like the travel and the amount of hours putting into everything. Or the fact that it's like two, three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm getting those uh, afternoon sleepies. Oh, I'm really looking forward to uh, Sunday, sleeping on the airplane. <laughs> That's like literally what I'm looking forward to right now. It's so funny when you put together a new production team of people, like people who don't know each other, everyone's got kind of their own way of doing things and it's kind of a clusterfuck at first, like trying to figure out everyone's temperament, what everyone's used to, what they're comfortable with, what they're not comfortable with. I think we're finally starting to get kind of to a place where we're a little bit uh, better off, but like yesterday was just a shit show in terms of like miscommunications um, We're using the wrong call signs on radios Like it's kind of one of those things that happens when you get with a new production team uh, And and you know, th there are a lot of green people on this it seems like so Oh man, it's been a long day, but this sunshine is beautiful right now Don't mind the construction Beautiful city, got the water over here Actually, Let's go take a walk and see what it looks like because this the sun is really really pretty right now so it's been another great day on set day three these like independent films take a while i feel like there's a lot of live editing happening like in real time you know as they're editing or as they're filming the script as they're bringing the characters out and seeing what the space looks like in the shot i'm like driving home as fast as i can because i have a meeting at uh at eight o'clock it's like 7 40 right now i got 20 minutes to get home and get settled to a meeting with a new potential client for uh for some social media marketing the pride and joy of working um you know remotely like this is i'm just working uh you know on the go like this is i'm constantly trying to go from one event to the other and so now i'm like i gotta shift my mind my focus from movie production to uh social media marketing startups um and it's uh it's, it's fun but it's very tiring i'm gonna go to the gym afterward nice race car one of the cool parts about working and uh and film like this is that we always get to go to see exciting new sets and uh go to kind of like some crazy weird places so now we're like in this super 
back alley like look at that what is that what the hell is that thing <laughs> on set getting some porta potties dropped this location that we're at does not have any restrooms we're actually in this building right over here check out this bad boy this is the seattle haunted tour thing oh the escape room driving downtown uh tonight is our first overnight shoot um our scenes just involve a lot of nighttime shots. It's exterior. The time is uh, 7.30 p.m. and I'm just about to get to set to uh, start 12 hours. We have several scenes like in the streets. There's gonna be like cars like burning out. There's gonna be somebody getting stabbed. So we even, we have like the dead ass police on set with us here, like kind of closing down this entire street just for this shot or for the shots that we're gonna have tonight. Just getting things started. Slowly but surely. That night view is really pretty though. Let's see. Let's see. It's kind of like Gotham vibes, it feels like. Time is 4.30 a.m. We are still filming. I'm not needed on set right now, so I got a moment to film. Here we have Master Rick documenting everything. For what reason? I have no idea. A lot of the same old. We're just going around filming different locations around the city. I really only have time to film when I'm like in the van here. Ran to a couple friends that I was actually in a movie with earlier this year that are extras, which is kind of fun. So we got to reconnect. I got referred for some uh, acting courses on YouTube by a friend of mine that I'm gonna start taking. Okay, well, it is day, uh, I don't know, like 18 on set. Kind of at a standstill right now because apparently a few people we're tested positive for COVID. We are trying our best to control the repercussions of that, you know? So having people take tests, um, as also asking people if they want to be on set. There's definitely a lot of people that are not comfortable being here with the fact that somebody or multiple people were positive with COVID. So I know the answer, but apparently it's difficult for some people to understand what the right answer is, but we'll get through it. Yo, is it just me or is this like a super sick album cover? Like two, one person, two people sitting there, the door, like the basic ass crude wall. I don't know, it's pretty hard. So today we're shooting at like an old factory. Um, I don't know exactly what kind of factory it is. It's right by uh, the Boeing airfield, like south of Seattle. We had to sign a waiver when we came in today. I was like, hey, if you shoot here, we're not responsible for, you know, whatever happens if you get hurt or something. Yo, low key though, so I stopped eating the uh, catering food that we had just because it's just all tastes the same and like it's not the best and there's already been a few people that got sick from it. But today I went to a Shell gas station in like South Seattle, like even South of Soto. They had the most delicious pizza and Spam Masubis I've ever had. Like I would never have expected this dirt in the hole fucking old school ass broken down shell in the middle of an industrial district to have delicious fresh pizza and delicious spam masubis like that's crazy down south like south of seattle like where you know all the power plants are one thing about like um working on sets like this is that you have to sort of work with what you got and i'm going straight from here to um another gig and i have no time to go home so i had to get myself a nice little trip in downtown seattle we just found out that now eight people on our movie set um, all tested positive for COVID. So they have made the executive decision to basically after today, Friday, we're gonna have an entire week off for everyone to um, go get proper tests for those that are sick to really confirm their sickness. Um, and I'm assuming after that, they're only gonna invite back the people that are you know, obviously tested negative. So I think it scared a lot of people. So they're um, giving everyone this time off to really go and get themselves assessed. It's gonna be interesting how that affects my schedule because I'm supposed to fly to Iowa this week to start my next gig, thinking that I would like have a few days to finish this movie and then fly out there. But seeming like that might not be the case. So we're just gonna have to see how it all turns out. 